Hi, this is session 20 of Apogee Edge Course for Beginners. In this session, we will see demo to approve revoked access and refresh tokens. In our previous video session, we have discussed to revoke access and refresh tokens. In case if you haven't watched that session, I would recommend you to watch before proceeding with this video session. All right, before we start, if you are new to our channel or haven't subscribed our channel, I would love to have your subscription because that will allow me to make more videos. All right, let's get started. Let's flip to Google Chrome browser and log in into Happy GHUI. And once logged in, click AP proxies under develop menu, which will populate all the AP proxies which we have created already. And as you know, AP proxy demo is the AP proxy which we have been using in our course so far. So let's save this in AP proxy in this session as well. So let's click on it. Now let's name it to develop tab in order to implement the change we need. Now here if you could see what to is the proxy endpoint which we have been using to generate access tokens, revoke access token, and refresh access tokens. So we have implemented each and everything as a separate flow. Now to approve the access and refresh token as well, let's create a new flow. So let's click plus icon over here to create a new flow and add the flow. I'm going to name this flow as approve access and refresh tokens. And description, we can do something like this is the flow to approve access and refresh tokens. All right, so conditional type, we are going to use path and verb. So let's select path and verb and provide the path. So let's provide path as approve underscore tokens and verb, let's give post. With these changes, let's add this flow. All right, we have added the flow. Now, when we invoke this flow, we would need a policy to implement or to achieve our remote functionality. So, what we are trying to do with this flow, we are trying to you know reapprove the access or refresh token. So, which policy will help us to approve the revoked access or refresh tokens? As you might have guessed. OAuth v2 policy will help us to re-approve the revoked access or refresh tokens. So let's add the policy. Now to add new policy, let's click plus icon in the policy section and look for OAuth v2 policy from the list. So let's select this policy and I'm going to name this policy as OAuth v2 hyphen approve hyphen tokens. Uh, you can give any meaningful name you want all right so let's add this policy and before we make any change let's remove all the unnecessary elements from the policy and these two elements we do not need all right so here we are trying to validate our access or refresh token so our app operation has to be validate token if you could remember, when we revoked the accessor refresh token, we have provided the operation as invalidate token. Now we are, you know, going to validate it. So let's provide validate token as operation in the policy. And as you know, we would need to pass the token from the request. So in order to do that, we would need token section. And inside token section, we would need token element and this token element would take two attributes. First attribute is type. The value for this type could be either access token or refresh token. So for now, let's provide it as access token. And let's provide the another attribute that is cascade. By default, cascade value is true true. So let's provide the value as true here. And We'll have to pass the token from the request. So how are we going to pass the token from the request? So 
in this example we will pass it from the editor again we can pass it from editor or query param or from body that is based on your requirements all right now we'll try to pass it from the editor so now we'll have to save the policy to read the policy from the editor so how can we tell the policy to seek for token from the editor of our request we can say that like this read from request and from editor of my request seek for the key token all right now we have you know added the policy and made the request change now we'll have to attach this policy in our flow so let's copy the name of the policy uh, please please keep in mind that whenever we try to attach any policy in any of the flow we'll have to provide the name of the policy not the display name since i have provided the name and display name as same value i'm copying it from display name all right so let's name the power flow and let's attach this policy in the request section of our flow so let's add a step and inside a step, let's add name tag and provide the name of the policy. All right, with these changes, let's go and save this as a new revision. All right, our new revision is saved. So let's deploy our new revision on test environment. Meanwhile, let's try to see the you know endpoint which we have created just now so this is the endpoint we have created just now so our endpoint is this and the path is approved underscore token so we'll have to pass the access token from the header of our request all right let's see whether our changes are saved and deployed or at least changes are saved and deployed in the test environment let's flip to postman tool and let's try to generate a fresh access token all right now we are able to generate access token again this is the same endpoint which we have implemented in our earlier sessions that is generating access token using password grant type in case if you haven't watched the those session i would recommend you to watch so that you'll get familiar with generating access tokens and you know this is the default endpoint we did this also we have discussed in our earlier sessions so all right now what we can do is let's try to invoke our default endpoint with this access token and let's see whether we are able to invoke our default endpoint here we go we are able to invoke it and now let's try to revoke this access token so we have endpoint to revoke this which we have discussed in our previous session in case if you haven't watched the session i would recommend you to watch now we have revoked it now after revoking it let's try to invoke the default endpoint with that access token and let's see what we get it says access token expired uh, that is because we have set the expiry time to only one minute so what we do is let's try to increase the expiry time so let's navigate to the policy which is generating access token for us using password grant type uh, that is this is the policy which is generating a token for us so let's increase expiry time and also let's increase here in the refresh token as well so i'm providing 300,000 milliseconds so which is five minutes expiry time to add token and refresh token so let's save the changes All right, now changes are saved. Now let's try to generate a fresh access token. All right, so we have created fresh access token and let's try to invoke this endpoint with this access token. And let's see whether we are able to invoke it. Here we go, we are able to invoke. Now, on the other hand, let's also try to, you know, get the fresh access token. By using this refresh token and let's see whether we are able to get it so we are able to get now let's try to 
access our default endpoint with this access token and let's see whether we are able to get it. All right, we have got it. Now let's try to revoke this access token. Let's revoke this. And if you could navigate to revoking policy, which is we say refresh token and cascade value to true. So we'll have to pass the refresh token, not the access token. So either we can do this way. So let's change it to access token so that we can revoke access token and its associated refresh token. So let's save these changes. All right, now let's try to generate a fresh access token. Alright, now before we revoke, let's try to invoke this default endpoint. There we go, we are able to invoke it. And now let's try to revoke this token. So let's revoke this. It is turned OK. Now let's try to invoke this default endpoint with that. Same access token, we won't be able to invoke it. It is access token not approved because it is revoked now. All right, so we'll now re approve this. So, in order to do that, just now we have created an endpoint. So, let's pass that access token. Before we do that, let's also prove its associated refresh token also would have been revoked. So, let's also prove that. So let's copy this refresh token and let's try to refresh our access token by providing refresh token. Again, this we have, uh, you know, uh, implemented in our previous sessions that is refreshing our access token using refresh token. In case if you haven't watched that session, I would recommend you to watch. All right, let's try to keep the request and let's see what we get. It says refresh token not approved. It means the refresh token is revoked. All right, now let's try to you know, re approve the access token. So, before we do that, let's name get to the policy which is approving our token and let's see what we have given. So, we have given the type is to access token. So, what we what it will do is it will approve the access token and its associated refresh token as well. So, let's so we are providing the access token. So, by default, its associated refresh token also will get re approved. Let's prove that in action. Let's give it says 200 OK. Now, if we try to invoke our default endpoint with this access token, we should be able to invoke that. So let's copy this endpoint. Sorry, that access token. So uh, already the access token is present. All right, so let's give the request now. Let's see whether we are able to invoke. Here we go, we are able to invoke. On the other hand, if I try to refresh our access token using the refresh token, we should be able to refresh our access token. Let's also do that. Here we go. We are able to do that. All right. This is how we will be able to re-approve the revoked access or refresh token. So one more point to understand over here. So if we specify type to refresh token and cascade to true, then what it will do is it will approve the refresh token and its associated access token. And on the other hand, if we set the type to refresh token and cascade to false. So what it will do is it will re-approve only the refresh token and it won't re-approve the access token or it won't re-approve its associated access tokens. So basically if cascade set to false, then only the respective access token or refresh token will be re-approved, not its associated access or refresh tokens will get re-approved. All right, I hope you like this video and if so, please like our video and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Happy learning.